During Buddha's time, there lived a woman named Kisa Gautami. Kisa had a baby but the baby died. She loved her son greatly, and refused to believe that her son was dead. She carried the body of her son around her village, asking if there was anyone who could bring her son back to life. A village elder took pity on her, and suggested to her to consult the Buddha. She immediately went to the Buddha's residence, and pleaded for him to bring her son back to life. The Buddha told her to collect a mustard seed, but only from a house where no one has died. Kisa went to each house in the village, but never collected one mustard seed, because in every house, there was someone who died. Kisa Gautami finally came to realize that, there is no one in the world who had never lost a family member to death. She now understood that, death is inevitable, and a natural part of life. Our human life is so brief and fragile. We cannot endure hunger, thirst, the heat, the cold, or the lack of oxygen within a few minutes. There are predicted deaths, so we can prepare before that day comes. But mostly, death comes as a surprise to us. We have no choice, but to leave behind everything we are attached to, and accumulated throughout our lives. Materials, money, social status, power, beauty. All fades away. As the laws of nature, we have to experience birth, aging, illness, and death. No matter how rich one is, how strong one is, how powerful one is. One has to die eventually. There is no one who can run so fast to escape death. Knowing that I cannot escape it, I see no point in worrying about it. I tend to think of death as being like changing your clothes, when they are old and worn out, rather than as some final end. One of the hardest lessons we have to learn in life, may be how to accept death and face it with serenity. I asked the leaf whether it was frightened, because it was autumn and the other leaves were falling. The leaf told me, no, during the whole spring and summer, I was completely alive. I worked hard to help nourish the tree, and now much of me is in the tree. I am not limited by this form. I am also the whole tree, and when I go back to the soil, I will continue to nourish the tree. So I don't worry at all. As I leave this branch and float to the ground, I will wave to the tree and tell her, I will see you again very soon. That day, there was a wind blowing, and after a while, I saw the leaf leave the branch and float down to the soil, dancing joyfully, because as it floated, it saw itself already there in the tree. It was so happy. I bowed my head, knowing that I have a lot to learn from the leaf. The life of a leaf is so fragile, quickly withering, quickly falling. Leaves fall at the base of the tree, and their dead bodies transform into plant nutrition. Just like that, a leaf repays the tree even when it's dead. The life of a leaf is short, but full of meaning. Have you ever asked yourself, if tomorrow you die, how would you spend the day? What do you want? What do you really want to do in the last days of your life? Maybe we sometimes think that, our existence in this world is so meaningless, just like, we are such a loser, we are so useless, we have no success, no achievement, we even don't know what we want, or we always feel so guilty because of past mistakes. But, if we have to face the last moments of our life, everything becomes much simpler. Maybe it's just about, who do we want to meet? What do we need to say? Is there anyone we need to forgive or to be forgiven? What will we regret if we die? What do we need to complete before death? A human life is as brief and fragile as a leaf. Death can come to us at any time. Death waits for no one. Death leaves no one behind. So what can be done today, don't leave it for tomorrow. We cannot hope to die peacefully if our lives have been full of violence, or if our minds have mostly been agitated by emotions like anger, attachment, or fear. So if we wish to die well, we must learn how to live well, hoping for a peaceful death, we must cultivate peace in our mind, and in our way of life. We do not have the freedom to reject tragedy, we cannot run away from tragedy, but we have the freedom to choose our attitude. Living means overcoming the challenges that life presents us, with what kind of attitude will define the context of our life. And then, when that day comes, 
When the day we have waited for a lifetime eventually comes, we can smile and say, Hi, Death. Thank you for watching our video. If you like our content, please like and subscribe. Goodbye and see you again.